before we rolled out, we shot some two steps at the meat. Two step. Two step. What's up F-Dub gang? Before we look at all the f***ed up shit 2-Step did to my car, I just want to explain some things. If y'all are familiar with 2-Step aka launch control and how it works, there are two different methods that are used depending on the tune. Ignition cut or fuel cut. For my tune, it is ignition cut and what that basically means is that when the launch control activates, the ECU will cut the ignition spark to hold a certain RPM. No combustion occurs within the cylinder, but there is still a highly flammable compressed air and fuel mixture. That mixture then gets sent out the cylinder and into the extremely hot exhaust manifold and therefore ignited causing the explosions, flames, and loud bangs. Guess what's sitting in the middle of those explosions? The turbo. So after the head failed, I did expect some sort of damage to the other parts within the exhaust system like the turbo and gaskets. Very important concept to know if you want to two-step the shit out of your car. Here is where the adapter warped causing the exhaust leak. All this black buildup is from the exhaust gases escaping. The V-band side looks pretty much leak free. Here is the original T25 turbine housing with the internal wastegate. I didn't run an actuator on the turbo so to keep the flap from opening I welded the arm to the turbine housing. It pretty much stayed shut. No leaks on the turbo to manifold side. Here we got the turbo compressor side. I don't know if you guys could see in there but there is some small scrapes in the inner surface from what I'm guessing is from the fins. The tips of the fins are a bit chipped. So that pretty much leads to having some sort of shaft play. It's not entirely noticeable on camera, but I do feel a bit of a wiggle. Very small play that I'd say can only be felt in person. I felt way worse on the stock KO3. When I spin the shaft, there is no scraping on the fins and it pretty much spins freely. The continuous scraping of the fins probably corrected itself over time. So there is definite turbo damage, nothing too major that'll cause complete failure. I expect this turbo to take more of a beating so we are gonna throw it back on. So we got most of the head disassembled, here we got the chain tensioner. Originally I thought this was what went wrong in the head. The plastic guides are pretty worn, you can see some surface cracks. But the spring tension is still there. Chain rollers look alright. Now here we got the intake camshaft, usual wear on the lobes. The cam journals is a bit scored though. Exhaust camshaft. We all know the lobes on this one are trashed. Especially this one right here. Bruh. This is the first time I'm seeing this up close. I can't even imagine the amount of metal flowing through the engine right now.
The journals are scored as well. Intake lifters, three per cylinder. Pretty worn out at the top surface. Now check out the exhaust side. Holy mother sh Look at that! No! There's a chunk from the lifter just chilling there. Even got more shavings. No! Um, yeah, the lifters are originally one piece. Now it got multiplied into three. Oh, make that four. A spring just came out. This lifter turned into a donut. Oh, yeah. Now the other ones aren't so bad. They are all in one piece, but they are starting to turn into donuts as well. Now I've looked at other possibilities how this could have happened. Low oil level or low oil pressure. But as you can see, we got a lot of oil up at the head so lubrication wasn't the cause. If lubrication was the issue, the intake side would have been trashed as well. But it's actually looking much better than the exhaust side. Another possibility would be the timing being off, whether it be a bad belt or something within the timing system. But there was no damage to the teeth on the belt or any of the components failing. The valves are not bent. Well that's my take on it, just wanted to dive deeper into the damage, the parts for the head swap and turbo came in. So stay tuned for the next video, mahalo guys for watching, see y'all in the next one.